Morning, Joe and the Pro. It's $2 Tuesdays at SportsMemo.com and WagerTalk.com. And what does that mean? It means we take the hottest handicapper that we have going over the last week and we sell his plays for only two bucks. So head over to WagerTalk.com or SportsMemo.com uh, and get down on $2 Tuesdays. Uh, Drew, lots to talk about. We're going to take apart four college basketball games. But first, really quickly, what's going on at wagertalk.com. Uh, tonight, Dwayne Bryant as a, well, he is our $2 Tuesday. And you want to know value, folks? He's got a 5% college basketball total. He is 65% lifetime in these under and over five-star plays. Uh, $2 over at wagertalk.com. He's our feature. Dwayne Bryant, 5% CBB total play. Uh, we also have Tony Finn with a ACC double header, 20 bucks. He's 24 and 13 in his uh, last 37 college basketball bets. Bets. I have a four-pack in NHL. Uh, Karm has a Championship League two-pack in soccer. And Buster on an 8-0 NHL best bet run as a uh, NHL play tonight. He's going for nine in a row. What the hell's going on over at Sports Memo, brother? Prez, thanks for having me on, man. It's been a little bit. A com page up here. Four five star plays for tonight's action. So uh, I, I believe this is the most we've had in, in quite some time. Maybe since I've I, I've been I've been with Sports Memo. We got Teddy Covers five percent big ticket home. Andrew McGinnis he just won last night on a five yeah. percent. He's back at it to get again. And guys, I have a promo for Andrew. If you listen to Puck Time, uh, ten dollars for Andrew Drew. I, I couldn't get old of Missy. So if you can make that promo code up and let Missy know. Andrew, 10 $10 for his five-unit play. Uh, yeah, and Teddy's rolling too, dude. I mean, you know, Teddy is Teddy is probably, from an NBA perspective, in must-play mode right now. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, what a day over at Sports Memo. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's $2 Tuesday too, so two of those 5% are just 2 bucks. Um, I got a two pack up uh, discounted as well, but um, yeah, things have been going well for us. Uh, college basketball in full swing. March Madness is upon us. C catching that that drift up towards uh, finishing the college basketball season in the black. Good percentage, so uh, hopefully can finish strong. Uh, we got a promo from you. Uh, yeah, we do. CBB one nine nine. That's CBB hundred and ninety nine at checkout. You can get the rest of my college basketball season. It's uh, more than fifty percent off. So Screw it's a great that, deal Drew. There. One okay. five nine. Change it. <laughs> hey, CBB one five nine. Then. CBB one five. No, you know what? One four nine. One CBB. four nine. But wait, there's more. It comes with a Floby. What is a Floby? Well, that's for the old people. It's that like vacuum that cuts your hair. Oh, I, I was thinking you were going somewhere like it comes with a floater, like a free no, floater. No, one forty-nine for okay. Drew's college basketball season and March Madness all the way to the championship game, where North Dakota will win. Probably not happening, Prez. But one forty-nine will happen for the rest of my college basketball season. I'll make sure of it. Okay, brother. Let's get straight to it, dude. Uh, number 16 seed, Virginia Tech, uh, on the road, playing Florida State, number 13 right now. Uh, Teddy doesn't like when I call them seeds. That's their ranking. Florida State, 14 and 1 at home. It's a short favorite here, Drew. Minus 4. The over and under is 136. This team went way over the total last time they played with FSU winning 91-82, but that game was a year ago. A Virginia Tech two-game winning streak, Florida State two-game winning streak. I think this game is going to be super close, brother. 
I actually lean on the under. I think it will be somewhat slow paced, especially early on. Uh, but I think it's going to be a close game. I'd rather take the points, but I like the under. Off the under, Prez, I like it more from a side perspective. And just so everyone knows, it's 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPNU. So a chance to watch and win here. ACC matchup, two ranked teams, Prez, like you said. And Justin Robinson, uh, the senior for Virginia Tech, he hasn't played since January 30th. He's a really and, and But they're still a top 10 offensive efficiency team. They can really put the ball in the bucket. Um, Buzz Williams crew, um, very effective field goal percentage. But going against Florida State, Florida State's a long, lanky, tough defensive team. And, and you see it across the board in their games. When, when they, they get out there, they get the hand in the face. Their, their opponent's field goal percentage tends to be lower against the Seminoles. They're playing at home. Like you said, I like the under. But even more so, the correlation with three-point defense and just – I, I like taking the defensive angle on that rather than the offensive. I think there's more correlation there. And Florida State, a good defensive team. I think they control this game. They can knock down their free throws. A top 15 defensive efficiency team. I think that they take this. They take it by more than three and a half, which is the low water mark right now. You can get minus four at most shops. So I have a half a unit on Florida State, Prez. Uh, he's Drew Martin. You can find him at sportsmemo.com. He also answers the phone and all emails. I'm the Prez and Drew. Uh, Andrew's promo has just been done. Missy emailed in. It is Andrew 10 for his 10 unit play, for his five unit play. That's the highest rated play we offer at either website. Uh, Andrew 10. As well, make sure to get down on Drew's rest of his college basketball season. And March Madness for only $149. Uh, that's CBB149. Drew, before we get into the next three college basketball games, I just want to let everybody know uh, Ralph Michaels from Cal Sports, the head writer over at wagertalk.com, and a man with an incredible database of statistics. Uh, and you'll hear, you'll hear from him on Morning Joe tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to talk about this on Morning Joe. He just put up his AAF logs. Uh, that's the new football league. A uh, lot of information packed in there, guys. Uh, this is you, you want to check this out. Uh, I know nobody is betting this right now. Well, not a lot of people, but they are taking action. Uh, Teddy and I were talking about it yesterday, and our AAFL logs is up at wagertalk.com. Uh, hey, Prez. Yeah, Has, have you watched that league? The AAF, I watched like a it? little bit. I watched a little bit of the Atlanta game. I, I'll tell you, I was pretty impressed by it. I mean, there were some some major college football names there uh, that I haven't heard from in a while. Some guys that I I was kind of surprised weren't in the NFL, to tell you the truth. And it, I, I found it pretty interesting. The, the couple games that I have watched, I've been pretty entertained. I think the quarterback should have to pass the ball uh, facing in the opposite direction. I think it would just make the game so much more fun to watch. Yeah, I, that would add a very interesting dynamic to Like it. this. Like just throwing it over their head. I only say that because I don't know if you actually watched any of the highlights, but it's already happened this year. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't follow it that closely. Yeah, yeah, one of the quarterbacks actually hurled the ball backwards over his head. Uh, yeah, that seems a little ridiculous. <laughs> I, I thought, hey, that. they should make this a rule. Number nine, Purdue, 22-7 and seven on the season. They're going into Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota's 18-11 and 11 on the season, but, Drew, they're mighty fine at home. They're 13-3. and 60% uh, of the general public are on Purdue tonight. Uh, Minnesota is plus five. The over and under here is 140. Uh, look, Purdue is rolling right now. They've won five in a row. They've won nine of their last 10. They're putting up points as well, Drew. Uh, and they rhyme with Drew. Uh, they <laughs> put up 86 against Colorado State, a 73 against Illinois, a 75 against Nebraska. But Minnesota plays to the under, man. Three unders in a row, seven unders in their last eight games. They are struggling to get out of six, more than 60 points a game. We got one team that plays to the over, one team that plays to the under. 
I like Purdue here. Uh, I know Minnesota has been good at home, but I just don't think they're going to be able to keep pace with this Purdue team. Uh, I'm taking the road chalk at Purdue minus five. I like Purdue here as well. Uh, they're the more talented team. In my opinion, they're the better short number prez. And I'll tell you, the last game against Minnesota, granted they were at home. They won by 10 points. Yeah. They were down by double digits, had to go on a 21-2 run, and never looked back after that. Carson Edwards, they're, uh, the, the Big Ten, not only Purdue's leading scorer, the Big Ten's leading scorer, has put in 25 and 23, respectively. And their last two games, like you said, Purdue, Team, if you're looking to bet on a team, you know, not not a dark horse to say, but you know, not one of the front runners to make a hell of a run in March. This is a team I definitely recommend. We'll also talk about another one later. But uh P- Purdue, I'm I, I have them as a bet on team, and especially going against Minnesota Prez. Minnesota has lost six of eight, and two of those teams are Rutgers in Nebraska, two teams in the Big Ten that aren't very good. So losing six of eight and two of those teams, Rutgers in Nebraska. Uh, This is a pretty much fade team only, so a bet on and a fade team facing each other at a minus five number. I think this number is short. Purdue can uh, good free throw, good free throw, good uh, field goal percentage team. So I think they cover this number. I got a half a unit on the Boilermakers. Uh, He's Drew Martin from Sports Memo, and I'm the Prez from Wager Talk. It's morning, Joe and the Pro. Tomorrow will be myself and Ralph Michaels from Cal Sports. Head over to Wager Talk TV. Uh, Check us out. Monday to Friday, uh, all the way through. Uh, Drew, you're wearing a shirt that says Auburn. So yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the Auburn game at you. Auburn <laughs> twenty it. and nine, playing against a seventeen and twelve Alabama team. Uh, we got the road team at plus two and a half. The over and under here is one forty five. Uh, 41% of the general public like the Tide. You know, Auburn has won two in a row. Four of their last five games, Drew, and seven of their last ten. Alabama just lost to LSU. They did keep it close, which was a surprise. Uh, but they beat South Carolina and Vandy. Uh, you know, I think this game is going to be close. And, and you know, what? what is interesting to me is, again, we have a team like Auburn that could put up points. They've gone over the total in their last two games. Uh, Alabama, though, has gone under the total in their last seven games. This number is too high for me, Drew. I like under the total of 145. Yeah, I think this total is a tough read because, you know, it's kind of contrasting styles, like you said, Alabama going under the total and they're the home team. And then Auburn going over the total and shooting well the last two games. Yeah. But they're the more talented team. So it's kind of a contrast there of who's going to control the pace. I, I'm looking at this from more of a side perspective. Granted, like you said, it might be a biased view. Uh, I am a former uh, Auburn graduate. But uh, minus two points, I just think the number's too short. Auburn's a team that lives and dies by shooting the ball from beyond the arc. Over 42% of their points come from three-point land. And they've been hot of late. So this is a team that I'm looking to bet on now. And if they cool off, it's a team that I I would definitely recommend fading to make money because if they're not making their threes, they're not going to beat many teams at all. And keep that in mind going into March Madness. They're hot. They can make a run. If not, they could be one and done in the tournament. Also on the other side, Alabama struggles hitting their free throws, I believe under 67% on the year. So in this price range of just two to three points, when you t- start talking down the stretch in a foul fest, that's not a good thing if you're taking points with Alabama, if they can't hit their free throws. So uh, it's another reason that makes me lean towards Auburn here in the Iron Bowl. The last game I want to talk to you about, Drew, is Texas A&M against South Carolina. Both these teams have a losing record. Uh, South Carolina 14-5, and five, Texas A&M 13-5. And, and look, South Carolina, Drew, 3-8. and eight on the road. Uh, (coughs) Sorry, Texas A&M favored minus four and a half. Uh, The over and under here is 144. Uh, These teams just recently met. South Carolina 84, Texas A&M 77. It was in Carolina. It went over the total. Uh, South Carolina covered, but they covered barely, and that would suggest that Texas A&M might be the play here. 
Uh, the over and under, I mean, you. I know the last game went over, Drew, but I mean, come on, 144, 145. Uh, South Carolina in their last three games, 63, 62, 61. Texas A&M, 64 and 55. Sure, they've put up 87s in the, and 84s, but both of these teams play to the under. This lumber is too high. Uh, I'm thinking under, and I'm thinking the favorite. I'm with you, Prez. I mean, Texas A&M won three of four, five of their last seven. They're actually catching a streak here, the Aggies are. They did lose uh, to South Carolina last month, but they fared well against the other kind of mid-tier SEC team. So I, I think the Aggies are, are catching a streak here where it's a bet-on opportunity for them. Also on the other side, South Carolina, without their leading scorer, A.J. Lawson, he's banged up. Uh, so, you know, if he'll play is, is kind of a question mark. Head coach Frank Martin, his team has lost three straight. And also when you break down the numbers of their shooting percentages, 340 in terms of offensive efficiency, their last three games. So they've gone cold of late. And uh, you bring up the under, Prez. Um, the last game that did go over, South Carolina had A.J. Lawson. Tonight they likely won't. That's yeah. their leading scorer. That's a huge difference maker. So I'm with you. I like the under in this SEC matchup as well. He's Drew Martin, and I'm the Prez. And that, my friends, is Morning Joe and the Pro. I uh, make sure to head over to Sports Memo. Use the promo code CBB149. Drew will be tweeting it out. $149 for the rest of college basketball. As well, Andrew McGinnis won his five-star NHL play last night. He's got another one tonight. Uh, use the promo code Andrew10. Uh, Teddy's in must-play mode in NBA. Dwayne Bryant is the $2 man at Wager Talk. Lots going on today. I'm pumped. I'm psyched. I got a four-pack of hockey plays up tonight. We'll see you. Uh, Drew, we'll try to make this a regular Tuesday occurrence. Be well, my friend. All right. Best of luck, Prez, with your uh, four-pack. Thanks for having me on, man. Talk soon. Ciao.